Hello, beautiful people. This is Tara from Tara's Traveling Paints, and um, today is February 22nd, 2022, and I am feeling this ascension, something strong, um, and you may be too, so I wanted to get to painting because I feel it's really important that um, you focus today on what you love because it's all coming. It's all coming, so it, today might be painful for you. I don't know. I know I've been going through it. And um, so I pulled out one of my big canvases. This is the 12 by 36 Artist Loft Gallery Wrapped um, Level 3. Uh, and I'm hoping that I got it all straight. I sprayed the back with water because it was a little wonky. It looks good now. Um, and I just put down some regular acrylic paint. I'm going to get the edges all done up right now for you. And I want this to be an ascension piece. Now this is going to be in relation to one I did this week that I just found absolutely stunning. And um, I wanted it bigger. And I wanted to do it a little bit differently. So um, Chris, Chrissy Paints, uh, Chris, I don't know how to say her last name. She did a, a cloud pour the other day that she was talking about extending her ready to pour paint so that's what i've been doing all morning i got all my pouring masters i did um three parts flow trawl to them to extend their life and i'm hoping that it works out i'm going to use all of the colors all of them so now i need to get my edges done here so i have a little tiny brush it's probably going to take forever so i don't think i'll be using it for all of the coverage <laughs> um i just want to make sure my edges are tacky and um, I just don't want to use another brush. I have so much that i got to clean up because I've been working on a project. I've been, I've been nesting, you know, and you guys know that because I've been telling you about it. And you can see when I do have the camera angled up that my art room, my studio is in far better shape than it ever has been um, as far as organization skills and getting it getting it good this actually this brush is actually doing the job pretty nice uh, this is not mixed with anything but it does have a it's a high flow for sure soft bodied um, sergeant acrylic art and I think oh I gotta look and tell you what kind of black this is but I'll be using um, Soho's piano black for my puddle or my uh, pillow uh, but I just wanted to make sure that the edges were black because I don't do an awful lot of paintings on these gallery wraps so I'm not as experienced with it and I know there are formulations out there to know exactly how much paint you need but I just I'm such a rebel it's like yeah I just want to do it <laughs> and uh, hopefully my table's clean enough that I can scrape whatever comes off because usually turns out to be a pretty nice color when you get all the scrapings together. So yeah, I'm just pushing this around. So we are in Ascension. I don't know if you feel it. You might. I'm sure you do. I mean, it, I, I, you've got to feel it. And it may feel really uncomfortable. Just know it's going to be okay. And it's important to just keep focusing on how you want life to be instead of focusing on how terrible you may think what things are because what we think is what happens and so we we need to try really hard to focus on coming out of this end the way your creator intended it to be uh, it's just amazing what I see some people realizing and doing and um, I'm very impressed with the majority of humanity <laughs> right now because this is not easy but we are doing it all right so I got that part all covered I'll come back and make it even better but let me get So the reason for doing the edges like this is to tacky the canvas a little bit so that your composition stays 
Um, as you know, and well, maybe you don't know, maybe it's the first time you've ever watched an acrylic pouring video. Sometimes they dry very differently than you uh, intended. That doesn't mean it's a failure, not at all. What it means is that the co-creation that you're doing had another idea. So this is just a way of saying, hey, I like my composition to kind of stay the way I make it. You know, it's my hint. And so think about it that way. Just know you're never alone with anything that you do. So I, I just feel that. I always, I always feel that. I used to always feel so alone. Now I don't. But boy, I, my emotions get up there, boy. Whew. Something fierce. And huh. it's definitely a tough time, but we got this. All right. Sit this in some water. Tiny, tiny bit of water, because I really got to get some. Got to clean my stuff up. I had decanted all my flow trial today in order to be able to um, extend my ready pours. So I've been busy getting that done. I feel like I'm going to go over it with a sponge just to even it out. Just don't want it to be uneven. I don't want a lot of lines in it, you know what I'm saying? So this is a dry sponge. Just going in one direction. Well, two directions, but horizontal for you. <laughs> All right, so what this pour is going to be, it's gonna be a couple of different techniques in here because I'm feeling snazzy. Um, I'm wanting to do uh, straight pours with ribbons. So I'm going to do probably about four, four straight pours. Then I'm going to do a ribbon, and I'm going to do the ribbon this way. I just think it's going to look really cool. And then, if I've got enough paint on this canvas, I'm going to do some uh, swiping with it. Some interesting stuff that I've learned from Molly and Winterstrom Art. She's uh, pretty amazing. They're both really, everybody's amazing. Everybody is amazing. I just, I watched a really great video by Rafi. I posted it on my Facebook page. It's super good advice for everybody. And um, I love that. So I put it up there because they're great. Him and his wife are just killer. So I renovated my bathroom. It's not quite finished. I've got to get the medicine cabinet up, but that is painted. And then I got to clean it really good, make sure all the paint drippings are gone so that it looks amazing. I'm just happy that I got some permission <laughs> to uh, paint the cabinets white because it is not my house. It is my mother-in-law's house. And we have very different tastes, and I just don't want her to be upset. So it's got to look really good. It may not be what she would like for her own bathroom upstairs, <laughs> but it's got to look good. So I have a lot of work to do before she gets home. I'm trying to eliminate as much of her spring cleaning that she would want to do as possible. And of course, that uh, we're both very different, and we, we see things clean differently. But that doesn't mean it's not going to be helpful to her. And I want to be helpful. I always want to be helpful. All right, we are really close to being able to get started with this project. And I'm thinking I'm going to need some paper towels. I'm sorry I'm not showing my face today. Um, I literally had a total meltdown last night, and I still look like I'm melting, so I had to flash in my face. <clears throat> Just letting that get a little tacky. 
That, that covered really nice. I, I need to buy some uh, black canvases. I love black canvases. I, I At the beginning, I wasn't such a fan, but now I like them. All right. I think that's probably enough for now. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to pull up my pants. Yes, all of my clothes are really way too big for me. And that's not a bad thing. So this is Soho Ivory Black mixed with Floetrol for my base. I'm almost feeling like I'm going to put some gloss medium in that. Just because I want it glossy. You don't need an awful lot of this to really do that to a paint. Um, I sometimes I use just the gloss medium as my pouring medium, and I don't even use full draw. But it's a tad bit more expensive, and a little does go a long way. So, I mean, full draw I can go to Home Depot and get it for thirteen dollars. We're Lowe's. I think I find the gallon more often at Home Depot than I do at Lowe's. Lowe's, they try to sell me those little tiny ones, and I don't. I have. I got no time for that. I paint way too much. I am at it all the time. You know, I'll probably make three other paintings today. I, I don't know. I got room to dry that one. And if I do another, I can let it dry there. And I could do two. I could do two more. Who knows? Yeah, that's the size we're working with here. I save these for swiping tools. I haven't used one for a swiping tool yet, but it also helps me remember what the heck I'm doing. All right. Let me get this. Just want to make sure I have enough paint on here because I'm going to be doing a lot on this canvas. And I just used all that. Oh my god. Oh baby. Well, if I need any more of that, I'm going to be in some trouble. What was that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? It sounded like... I don't know. Anyway, let's push this around. So this is pretty, so I'd say that's a pretty thick consistency. today in this all of it <sighs> I'm not you know use all the paint but I'm gonna use all the colors there we go that's much better just want to make sure I get this is all pretty freshly mixed and I shook the crap out of it because it's a heavy body paint and I used a whisk 
because it's a heavy body paint and I struggle mixing those. But they're so cost effective because you don't need a lot. But that's two scoops of paint right there. The rest of it is Floetrol, water, and gloss medium. I mean, come on now, you can't beat that. And I think I got a gobbly goop right there and I got it out. I don't see any other gobbly goops. All right. We're going to start with Aztec Gold because I think I filled it up too high. So I want to see what I did. <laughs> okay, it looks good. Okay. Aztec Gold, looking really pretty. Okay. Get some rose gold. I'm hoping I got these consistencies correct, you know? And I even juiced up my artist love. Put some white. So I'm going to need to separate some stuff here. And I guess let's go for a rainbow look. Strawberry red. <coughs> Excuse me. Tangerine orange. Lemon yellow. Light apple green. Ah, vivid jade green. There was not very much in here, so I couldn't extend it too far. Let's go with some ice blue. Some peak. Yeah, let's put the peacock teal right there. They're beautiful. I love these things. And I was running out, and when I heard her say that, I said, what? I don't know why I didn't even think that that was possible. Now I'm putting some plum crazy purple in there. And I want to put some black. Gonna cushion it with some white. And then it's 24 karat gold. Some silver. And some deep brown. These are all metallics. And then I'm going to go in with some Artist Loft paints. And that will be turquoise. These are non metallic. These artist lofts that I'm putting in right now. Turquoise, I'm going to put a little green. And 
aqua green marine. These, everything got extended today, all of these guys. I'm going to put some more black. And I'm going to put a little red. And back to Aztec Gold. Oh. Probably shouldn't have, but I think it'll be okay. And then the Rose Gold. All right. This is where I'm going to begin. Beautiful. I hope you can see it. Jeez, please. It's really pretty. Oh, those cells are already dramatic inside the cup. I'm going to use this whole cup. And then with my smaller cup. I'll make the ribbon. Which I, I think I'll just do rainbow colors for that okay that is a beautiful beautiful cup and those are beautiful beautiful pours okay well it's time to put the gloves on folks because this is going to get messy I was gonna put the hands off handle on it and I was like oh, I just don't have it in me right now let's do it and I don't think I've ever used it with a gallery wrap, so I, I don't. I didn't want to do any major experiments. <laughs> I just wanted to get this painting out. And look at it; it's beautiful already. Holy shit! All right. God, I wish you could just leave it like this, but it wouldn't dry right. It would crack. 
That'll make it beautiful. I will. Let me make sure you're still rolling. And we are still rolling. Wow, we're already 25 minutes into this. This is definitely content for people that like long content. <laughs> because, uh, hopefully you don't mind the sound of my voice. All right. Oh, damn. It's okay. Oh, my. I was going to do a big 30 by 40, but I have to do it on the floor, and I didn't want to get on the floor. My knees are killing me today. Let's go over the edges. This is difficult. Nothing worth having is not. And I don't mean that in a negative way. But all the struggles you got right now, they're for a reason. They are for a reason. All right. Oh, I didn't lose the cup ball. Good, 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 good. All right, guys. I do have a gobbly goop that did not flow off. But I got it. All right. That's pretty intense. Okay. What do I need fire? I need fire. God. I gotta double check, make sure I went over the edges everywhere. Just looking, oh, I got a lot of air bubbles, okay. Just wanna see them. So I didn't add silicone? Pretty sure there was silicone in the pouring masters. Pretty sure they already got it in there. Let me take a look around. Okay. I'm gonna put this other light on. I think we need more light. All right, that's looking pretty sweet. Little cup. Rainbow.
probably should have done it, man. It's okay. Certainly not the perfect rainbow, but it's going to be beautiful anyway. And then some more black. Do all right. Looks pretty good. All right. Good thing I doubled up. We would have been in a little trouble. Wow! All right, I'm gonna have to re-glove. I've got more to do. I can start putting these away, I think, for now. I might have some more stuff coming up, but first let me play with it right here. That is intensely beautiful. <clears throat> I find that if I don't put stuff up, like right away, it doesn't happen. So, I wanted to make sure it does. I think what I need to do here right now is I need to pour some gold on it. 24 karat. That's what I need. That's what I need right now. Wow, I'm, I love it so far. So I'm just going to stretch it a little bit, and then I'm going to do some, I'm going to pull it out a little. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it to you, but um, it's, Molly introduced me to Winter Storm, Strom art, and this is something that she taught me, that both of them taught me. 
and I'll show you in a minute. Oh, I got a lot of faces right here. Sheesh. So I just want to tilt back and forth a little bit, just to. Get too crazy, Tara. Oh God. Oh God. terrified of this part just because but I want to I want to try it so the thing is is you take a part of it and you kind of move it so that it extends further like say right here It's a little difficult because you've got to be really careful how deep you get into that paint. really hard for me. But really hard for me is okay. That's the idea right there.
I really feel like I don't want to put gloves back on. I do need to tilt. Back with the gloves. This is my favorite wrecking tool. I love them. Oh. And I gotta pull my pants up again. <laughs> Let me get the gloves on first. Oh, would that be funny if one day that, because I hate wearing belts, that I'm doing a, a video and the pants just fall? That would be funny. Because it totally could. Oh, it's two o'clock already. Two, two, two. What two? hard for me to do just because my, my I'm just tired my arms are killing me all right this is so pretty okay oh, it's still moving can you see that? Maybe I'm just about to faint, who knows. All right. Oh. I def definitely don't feel like this is a finished painting. So I've got to do some thinking right now while I pop bibbles. I don't want to make mud. So I gotta be careful how much I mix these because they're all of them, you know?
almost feel like transfer swipe time. I'm thinking I'm using it straight from that. Straight from the... no idea what that was about <laughs> definitely didn't work okay so a transfer swipe has to be a lot more deliberate than just scraping off the scraping off right there so if I want to do that I've got to think <sighs> do I want to do that no I don't know Excuse me for coughing in your ear. Guys, I really think I should leave it alone. I don't think I should go any further. And if I do decide to do anything new to it, it'll be after it dries. I'll do something else, but I think it's really beautiful. I so badly want to swipe it. Oh, God. So psychedelic. So ascension -y. Oh boy. All right, let's bring you in for a closer look. Oh, it's really pretty. It looks nothing like my inspiration painting though, <laughs> which I'll 
pull you up so you can see that. That's over there. And that was... That came out so beautiful. A lot more negative space. This one doesn't have a lot of negative space. I almost feel like I want more negative space. Hmm, maybe I'm not done. Yeah, I'm not done. I'm sorry. I was going to bring you in for a closer look, and then I decided I'm not done. And should I use black or dark brown? Let's go with a deep brown. And I am just going to pour it straight on the canvas um, in a ribbon style. Kind of strategic places. Let's see. Mm -hmm. This would make me happy. Much happy. That is crazy! Just what it needed. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so glad I thought of that. I know you've been here a little bit, guys. I'm sorry about making you wait for me, but that was necessary. And it's insane. What a fabulous effect. It kind of helps, like, with whatever mud I might have created with swiping around and all that. That it, it almost ties it together, you know, because mud turns into brown. All right, I'm really happy with that. So the, the idea when you're doing ribbons is always start off the canvas because this way you don't get those strange little blobbity blobs. And um, just be prepared to scrape your canvas because that's, you know, that's what it's going to be. Let me go ahead and bring it in. I'm not going to touch it anymore. No, no, sir. Oh, give you a sneak peek. This is the commission piece I'm doing. And I just have to add a fire to it. That is Montauk with the Milky Way on a full moon. And I'm putting a fire on the beach. Pretty cool. All right, here we go. Got you here a whole hour with me. Thank you for taking time with me. I apologize for taking so much time, but I really needed to express myself in this. I feel like I did. I think it's just amazing. So the name of this, uh, this one was born with a name. I usually don't name them. But this is Ascension. And this is kind of descriptive of how Ascension is beautiful and good, but hard to do. And you can see that there's a lot of conflict in the painting. But at the same time, the conflict works together to create an amazing composition. And the brown on top, I don't, I don't even know what the heck I did with that. But I did it. All right. Well, hold on for the dry results. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, guys. Okay, I wanted to show you the 24-hour result of yesterday's big 12 by 36 inch straight pour with ribbons um, using all of my ready-to-pour paints. <laughs> so let's go ahead. It's just so precious. I named it Ascension 2-22-22 because, well, you know. If you're watching the rest of the video, you know what's going on. 
This is stunning. I am like freaking out about this beautiful painting. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate all your love and support. Oh, it's so interesting. The other one is not quite dry yet, but that's okay. Very nice. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much.